What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD coming at you with another video. This time we're talking about the mysterious Jay Allard. Now, uh, as you can see from the video on the screen, the Next Level Gamer Show, they uh, did a little thing when Jay Allard was hired on May 14th. They were talking about it. Now, there's many other videos discussing Jay Allard's hiring. I mean, there's videos from the Atari Creeps, Smash JT, OEB Pete. But uh, after talking with Turbo Joe and him telling me how many subscribers that he got just from me mentioning him, I figured I'd throw Next Level Gamer Show a bone, you know. These guys have been grinding at it for five years and they're barely at a thousand subs. So I figured they could use the boost, they could use the help that someone like me could give them by shouting them out. You know, my cloud will drip off onto them and they'll get some more subs, they'll get some more popularity. So, you know, that's why I'm featuring them in this video over those other people. But, uh, yeah, they made a huge deal about it. This was the, the mic drop moment. Tommy was saying, you know, he was teasing it for weeks. He was saying, you know, he hired somebody big. He had a, a nice little thing going on Atari age. He had people guessing. People had guessed that it was Jay Allard, but then Tommy just straight out said, no, it's, it's not Jay Allard. He would then later on say that, you know, he lied because he didn't want to spoil the surprise. You know, the haters were lurking in the in the thread and... He didn't want them spoiling it ahead of time. But I mean, if I was doing it, I would have just, you know, dropped the hints and not told anybody yes or no. I would have just let people guess, but I mean, that's just me. But anyway, Jay Allard, he was hired. And now his position, according to his LinkedIn, was Global Managing Director. He was a full-time employee. He started May 2020. But uh, a couple of months later... Jay Allard turned into a part-time employee who was just an advisor. Just a guy who was advising the company. But, I mean, it's still something, right? But today, his LinkedIn looks like this. No mention of Intellivision Entertainment. No mention of his time there. Just completely gone. Scrubbed off of his LinkedIn. Now, when people do this, when they scrub a company off of their LinkedIn, it's usually because there was a... A bad parting, you know, someone was fired, there was a fight, something happened, a disagreement of some sort. So uh, it's kind of odd that he would scrub in television entertainment from his LinkedIn. I don't know, you know, take that for what you will, speculate as you might. But if we go over to the Wikipedia page, they reference it, you know, he was hired on May 14th, then uh, in January... He removed everything from Intellivision Amico on his LinkedIn page. Now, I was tipped off from a, a fan of mine, Lord Raycon. He said, hey, Tony, you got to check this out. You know, uh, Jay Allard removed all of his LinkedIn references to Intellivision Entertainment. I checked it out. It turns out it was true. So, you know, if you have a hot tip, I will look into it. Just, you know, leave me a comment. I'll look into it, see if it's true or not. And uh, if it's true, I'll make a video. If not... I might make a video so we can debunk some rumors, you know. That's how we do it on this channel. But really, that's all I got to say about this. You know, like I said, Jay Allard was hired, made a big deal about it. They were telling me that this is the, this is where Intellivision put themselves on the map. This is going to back the fuck up of all the haters. They're all just going to be shut down. This is a mic drop moment. Of course, Tommy was telling us, you know, this was really important that Jay Allard wasn't just a token hire. He wasn't there for, you know, name recognition. He was actually going to do stuff. He was going to get shit done. So far, I don't know what he got done. No one's ever mentioned. Tommy's never said, hey, this is what Jay Allard's been working on. Or, hey, this is what Jay Allard helped us figure out. He was just kind of hired. Some articles got written. And then no one really mentioned him. He wasn't in any videos. Tommy says because Jay Allard doesn't like to be on camera. He wants to be behind the scenes. So, you know, no videos, no uh, mentions, just there, I guess, kind of doing something in the background. And now he's just gone. It's in the middle of the night, he just took off, packed his bags and left. And uh, maybe Tommy doesn't even know, maybe Tommy doesn't even realize that Jay Allard, you know, removed Intellivision Entertainment from his LinkedIn because Tommy hasn't said a word about it. The most transparent CEO in video game history, the guy who tells you everything, has not mentioned that Jay Allard is no longer with the company. So that must mean, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, that Tommy doesn't know. So Tommy, I'm sorry. 
hate to break it to you. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Jay Allard does not work at your company anymore. Jay Allard has removed all mention of Intellivision Entertainment from his LinkedIn. It looks like he's trying to skip town. Maybe he's got some of those great ideas of yours and he's going to go share it with the world. You better do something, Tommy. That's just my opinion. That's not a fact. That's just me speculating and talking shit. But it is what it is, right? Now, if you want to set the record straight, Tommy, I know you watch these videos. I know you're out here, you know, looking up everything on the television. So go ahead, drop me a comment. Let me know what I got wrong. Tell me, you know, all the great things Jay Eller did. Tell me, you know, the real reason why he left. Just let me know. Let us know. Let your fans know. Let all the people that stop by to watch this video know. But really, that's all I got to say about that. If you like the video, hit the like. If you like what I got to say, subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit fucking dislike. But you know what we do at this channel? Love, peace, booty grease. We out this bitch.